and our detractors are not our own people. They are those from outside who would want to access our resources and they divide us. But if we are patriotic about our country, we shall stand together and no detractors will divide us. Our immediate focus is keeping the grassroots organized as well as mobilized towards a thunderous Zampia victory in the upcoming 2023 harmonized general elections. In doing so, patriotism, loyalty, discipline, and most importantly, servant leadership must remain core traits of our party and our youth. As the young people of our party and the country, you have a weighty obligation of steering the modernization, industrialization, and the growth of our beloved motherland, Zimbabwe, and accelerating the attainment of Vision 2030 that brings about prosperity to every single person in our country. Our present national development trajectory needs patriotic young people. We have clarity of their generational mission, clarity of vision, clarity of loyalty and patriotism, clarity of identity, clarity of respect for your elders. Yours is a mission to consolidate the gains of a hard-won independence, freedom, and democracy, as well as the ongoing socioeconomic progress under the Zan PF philosophy, Nika Inovakwa Igo Tomba Nebenebayo. Your brothers and sisters have gone before you, sacrificed their lives and limbs for us today to enjoy this freedom. What do you repay them with except your patriotism, your loyalty, your commitment to develop your motherland, Zimbabwe? Brick by brick, stone upon stone, step by step, let us build our country, our motherland, Zimbabwe. Ourselves, nobody else but ourselves shall build our motherland. I thus call upon you to do more to safeguard our sovereignty, our security, and development interests while robustly opposing all attempts to undermine our national unity and the social harmony and stability. When we have problems in the Eastern DRC, when we have problems in Cabo Delgado, we have problems in Sudan, Europe sleeps. So when there are problems in Ukraine, Africa must sleep. We are not going to lose our sleep because Europe is on fire. Because they sleep when we are fire in our own countries. We must raise our political consciousness to be aware